All right, so solving this problem. So I got secant of three theta divided by two equals negative two. I'm gonna take the secant of both sides. So it's three theta over two. <coughs> secant to secant negative two. Three theta divided by two. Secant of negative two is essentially the secant of, or cosine of like negative one half. It's gonna happen two pi over three and four pi over three. So I multiply two by both sides. So I get four pi over three and eight pi over three and then divide through by three. So I get theta is equal to um, four pi over nine, eight pi over nine, and then we're allowed to go zero to two pi. So, oh, and something I forgot to do is when I did all this stuff, I should have made it so it was um, four pi over nine plus two pi k for both both of these. And then when I solve these, um, my k becomes uh, two pi k times two, so four, then divided by three. So four pi k divided by three. So if I run these, so four pi divided by nine, eight pi divided by nine for theta. Um, if I add this to four pi over nine, the four pi k over three, so it becomes eight pi k over, well, that's not right. I need a common denominator, uh, times three, so 12 divided by 9 pi k. Um, so just pi so 16. So that does work. So 16 pi divided by 9, which is just a little bit less than 2 pi. All right, that's it. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.